What's up guys? It's Meg and it is Sunday, the day that we would normally watch The Walking Dead. But it's not on tonight, sadly. Uh, I'm going through some serious Walker withdrawals right now. Are you guys? How are you feeling that Walking Dead is not going to be on tonight? Uh, I'm really sad. I almost don't know what to do with myself. Um, normally, I am waiting around all day in anticipation of the next episode. Um, and today there's just nothing. Nothing's going to be on. So I'm going through Walker withdrawals. I'm sure you guys are too because I think that you all are just as obsessed with this show as I am. Uh, otherwise you'd probably not be on YouTube right now watching other people's videos uh, about The Walking Dead. I know you need it just as much as I do. So today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with Walker withdrawals until February 9th when The Walking Dead, the rest of season four comes out. So here we go. Okay guys, so the number one way to get rid of Walker withdrawals is by watching the past seasons of The Walking Dead. Duh, of course. Um, in case you're like me and you do not own all of the past DVD seasons, I know, I'm a horrible person. You can rent them from your local library if you didn't know that or if you don't have Netflix. Netflix is another great way to do it. But if you don't have Netflix and you want to go to your local library, uh, it's not just for books. They have all sorts of movies and past TV series uh, there to rent. You can put it on hold if it's not currently in your library and you can watch all the past seasons while you're waiting for February 9th. What an awesome way to catch up. I know I'm really wanting to watch season two again. After losing Herschel, I started really missing Dale too. And I just love season two. Season two is one of my favorite seasons um, next to season four. So if you guys haven't been watching any of your past episodes lately, maybe you should do that. Take a break from season four and go back and look at some of your favorite episodes. And I like to really dissect uh, the different episodes now. Since I've watched them so many times, it's so fun to take a look back and really watch the show and look at the little things that you maybe missed before. Uh, take a look at them. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, number two. If you haven't read the comic books, now is the perfect time to start. Uh, I had never read comic books at all before, uh, except for when I was little. I used to read Archie and Veronica, or Archie and Jughead. Um, I know, uh, don't laugh at me. But I've never read comics since. It's just never been something that I've really like gotten into until I started watching The Walking Dead. And then I read the comics and oh my gosh, they are seriously the best thing ever. They are so real and so horrific that uh, you will just be shocked at some of the things that you see in them. Um, I never knew a comic book could affect you so much. It almost affects me more than the TV show does. It's amazing. Uh, you can also, if you don't have the money to go out and buy the compendiums, um, you can rent them from your library again. Uh, I put on hold recently one and two, compendium one and two, because again, I don't own them. Compendium two, I believe, starts right about where they left the prison. So it's really awesome to go and look at some of the scenes from Compendium 2 and compare them to what we might see when Season 4 returns in February. Go do it right now and then tell me all about it in the comments below or find me on Twitter, okay? Uh, okay, here we go. Number three, play the Telltale Games Walking Dead game. Uh, now, I have never played it before myself because I don't own any gaming systems or anything like that. Um, but I have heard that it is amazing to play, and if you can't play it, watch on YouTube someone's videos of them playing it. I would really recommend you watching PewDiePie's um, videos where he plays all of the Walking Dead games. They play out like a TV show. I seriously got so hooked watching him play that I cried at all the pivotal scenes. I was shocked. It is a crazy game. Um, so I totally encourage you guys, play it if you can play it, go buy it. Uh, if you can't play it, watch someone play it on YouTube because they are so cool to see. I spent hours watching PewDiePie play it and I don't know, he may annoy you, he may not. You could always watch somebody else like Tobuscus plays it and he's pretty cool. But uh, I just really wa liked watching PewDiePie play it, just his emotions and his funny sounds because we all know he makes funny sounds. Um, but that game is so fun to watch and it will totally take your mind off uh, your walker withdrawals, especially on a Sunday when you're sitting around feeling sad. Um, 
Number four, now that you guys are gonna think I'm a little crazy, but let me explain this first. So before I ever got into The Walking Dead, uh, I've always been kind of a survival fanatic type person. I've always thought about what would happen when the shit hits the fan? Would I be prepared? Would my family be prepared? You know, uh, what would happen? And not necessarily a zombie apocalypse type of situation, but just like an end of the world scenario. I mean, you guys have seen so many movies, right? About the world coming to an end and what people will do to survive. And it's just like being on The Walking Dead. You know, what are you willing to do to survive? How are you gonna survive? What are you gonna have with you? Um, so I thought it would be fun to tell you guys. I have, I'm a complete like survivalist freak. Um, I know I might not look like it, but I love, um, reading any kind of survival articles, especially going online and seeing how people make those little survivalist kits, you know, um, survival in a can or using an Altoid tin or something like that. Like they're so fun to look at and even put together yourself. Um, so I encourage you guys to take a little bit and look at some online survival tips or um, pack a go bag. Like what would you put in your go bag? What would be stuff that you would want to take with you if you all of a sudden had to leave your uh, house right this moment? What would you want to have in a backpack ready to go? Do it. It's really fun thinking about it and you'll be prepared in case anything does happen. Uh, and you know that you do not want to be uh, unprepared in a, the apocalypse sort of situation, especially if there are walkers involved. Yikes. Okay, and number five, last but not least, go on Twitter and find a bunch of fellow Walking Dead fans. I am telling you, there are so many of us out there. If you just add a ton of people that are Walking Dead fans on your Twitter feed, uh, you will have nothing but Walking Dead info and pictures all the time. You can search hashtag TWD family or hashtag TWD or hashtag uh, Big Bald Head. That's Norman Reedus's Twitter feed. Um, you will find so many new friends. I'm telling you what, I, I never joined Twitter before I became a Walking Dead fan. And I joined because I heard that Norman Reedus follows people on Twitter and I was so excited. By the way, he does follow me on Twitter, guys. Uh, I'm so excited about that. But uh, not to brag or anything. Uh, but seriously, go on there and find a bunch of different people that like The Walking Dead and you'll get updates all the time on on anything Walking Dead related, pictures, the upcoming season, um, any tidbit of info, and frankly it's just nice to be able to commiserate with other Walking Dead fans about just how much you miss The Walking Dead and how badly your Walker withdrawals are. You can also search hashtag Walker withdrawals and you'll find a lot of people in your same situation. Okay guys, that's it for today. I really hope you liked my five tips on how to deal with your walk here with Charles. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Meg underscore Stansfield. Um, the link is in the description below. Leave me lots of comments about how you guys are doing. What are you doing to get rid of your walker withdrawals? Uh, let me know, and I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks so much. Bye.